Hey all, hello and welcome, Tony Bing here. For this beginner's guide video we will be looking at Captain America. Now he's a pretty simple hero, like the actual character, but he does what it says in the tin. He's really quite tanky and he's also pretty great from a leadership perspective as he offers a whole lot of buffs as well. So what we'll do first in this video anyway is we'll have a look at his primary attributes, offensive and defensive traits, and he also has a special resource called Serum that we'll look at. Following on from that, we'll check out a few of his costumes, we'll then have a look at his signature and ultimate, and finishing up, we'll get two gameplay run-throughs as well. But first up, let's have a look at his attributes, traits and resource. We'll start off here looking at the offensive trait, and that is Patriotic Soldier. So with this, you gain a base damage of 30% to Serum Powers, and we'll look at them later on in the video. The arch type is Fighter and he gains a bonus from the strength and fighting attributes. Now, although fighting offers the crit rating multiplier, strength actually offers a deflect multiplier, and with cap, some of his skills, the actual damage to do is based on the amount of deflect you have, so do bear that in mind. I would look for a, a nice balance of both strength and fighting as opposed to stacking one over the other. For the defensive trait for cap, it would have to be this here, it's the Vibranium Shield. So with this, it offers you a whopping 20% projectile reflect chance. His arch type is tough, meaning he gains a multiplier from both defense as well as deflect, and he also has that 8% damage reduction being a melee combatant as well. For his resource, this is actually a secondary rather than a primary resource. His primary is still spirit, the secondary is serum. So with this, when you deflect attack or strike an enemy with certain powers, you'll generate serum and certain powers can actually consume serum to lower their cooldown, but once we look at the skill section this video at the end, we'll be able to check out the skills that are affected by this. What we'll do next up anyway, is we'll check out a few of his costumes. We start off here by looking at his default, and that would of course be his classic costume, this really does look pretty great considering it's just a default costume. We then have our movie costume, and this one's the Age of Ultron, so this is really quite nice and very accurate to the actual film as well. And then we look at what's possibly my favourite visual update to date, the Marvel Now costume. This one just looks absolutely fantastic, I really do love this one. Final costume we look at for something a bit different is an enhanced one, and this is American Dream, so you have all the different voiceover and emotes with this one, so it's a really nice change for people that are looking to play that particular character. But next up, what we'll do is look at the signature and ultimate skill. For the signature, we have a skill called Star Spangled Strike, so when you use this, you will restore 50% of your max spirit, so if you have a high spirit pool, this can be really good for sustain. It will do a large physical damage packet, knocks down the enemies for 1.2 seconds, and also if you have some serum, you can reduce the cooldown of it by 4 seconds. Now on top of this, it actually works as a steroid as well, and it grants you 1500 damage, defense, and deflect, and bear in mind as mentioned earlier in the video, Cap has some moves that actually benefit from your deflect rating, so you can almost double dip with the damage and the deflect if you use those particular skills. But what we'll look at next will be his ultimate skill. For the ultimate we have a great skill which is a nod to Cap's leadership abilities. So this is Avengers Assemble. So with this you'll call in various Avengers. You have Hulk that jumps down and does a big smash. You have Thor that comes in and slams his hammer off Cap's shield as he done when he was fighting Cap in the forest in the first Avengers. And then you will have Hulk that will actually punch Thor out the screen, again from the Avengers movie, and then finishing up you have Iron Man fire his laser beam off of actual Cap Shield, again from the Avengers movie, so I really do like how it all comes together for this particular skill. Now what it actually does, you've got the different damage packets as the heroes come in, Iron Man has the dot damage on his beam, and on top of that you actually have a 100% chance to deflect all incoming attacks, so you're essentially invulnerable for 20 seconds, and you and your allies are also empowered for 20 seconds as well, so it's a, a nice ultimate, and as mentioned, I do like the fact that it's a nod to Cap's leadership abilities. But what we'll do next anyway, is we'll have a look at some of his shield skills, and we'll do that by running through the subway terminal where we face off against Shocker. 
So we start off here by looking at his main spender, and this is Shield Strike. So with this, as you can see, you gain a damage bonus based on your deflect rating. It's currently 1% per 500 deflect rating. The next skill we look at, this is a great one and very good for making you mobile, it's Airborne Assault. So you leap up and crash down, doing a large damage packet and make the enemy vulnerable as well. Now, if you have Serum, one Serum, or just the cool down by 4 seconds. If you spend 3 Serum, you increase the damage of it by 50 seconds there. The uh, next skill is Shield Bash. So with this one, again, you're gaining a damage bonus based on your deflect rating, and it's the same as the previous skill. It's 1% per 500 deflect rating, and if you have Serum, you'll spend 1 pip of it to reduce the cool down by 4 seconds again there. The next skill we look at, another shield one of course, this is Torqued Shield Throw. So with this one you'll throw the shield all around you and it actually hits the enemies twice as it goes round. And with this, again, you can spend one pip of serum to reduce the cooldown of 4 seconds. I like to use your bonus Assault and then follow it up with the Torque Shield Throw around you. I really do think that works quite well in that combination. We then have Shield Toss, we cap throws the shield out in front of them and it will hit damage as it's going forward and as it comes back it can actually hit them again. Now it will stun the enemies for 2 seconds as well. The final shield skill we actually look at is Shield Bounce, this one's pretty great, you throw it and it will hit off various different enemies so it can hit up to a total of 8 enemies if you're fighting a boss and there's actual destructibles nearby it will hit the boss, fly to destructible and fly back to the boss so you can still get a good number of hits that way. Now one thing I'll mention about this particular shield bounce is you can actually through talents add a bleed to it as well so you can be running through the level, throw your shield keep running, it'll bounce off doing damage and then the dot should finish off the trash so that combination of skills works really great but we're now at Shocker so what we'll do, we'll fire off all our various skills against them you can see they are bonus assault there, it's really good for getting mobile if you're about to avoid attack just jump over, you'll do damage at the same time apply vulnerability and you'll avoid the attack that was a signature just there and you've seen the big white star on screen So he is, he's a relatively simplistic character, Captain America, but he is a guy with a shield at the end of the day who punishes people, but what he does, he does well. As mentioned, he's great at tanking and he has the leadership abilities that work great. Now, what we'll actually do for the next section of the video, we'll look at the remaining skills. These are ones that don't really fall under the shield umbrella, so let's check them out. So for this run through of the Kingpin Warehouse, we'll show off the American Dream costume as well for anyone that's interested in that. Now the main spender we're using is Vibranium Bash and this actually generates serum so you want to pair this up with skills that potentially gain damage bonuses from having a higher amount of serum so bear that in mind if you're using this particular skill. The next one we have, this is from, let's see, be from the Winter Soldier, this is Meteor Kick. And this is awesome looking kick that Cap does against Batrock on the boat just at the start of the movie. Now with this, if you have less than 5 serum, it sets your serum to 5. If you have 5 or more serum, you gain a 50% damage bonus and on top of that you get an execute as well, so that can be pretty great. The next two skills we look at are quite different. The first one is Athletic Leap. So with Cap, his travel power is running, so if you come up against gates and fences and so on, you have to run around them, but with Athletic Leap, you can actually just fall over them, so it can save you a lot of time, and it really helps to make Cap pretty mobile. Now you get three charges on it, and it has a low three second cooldown as well, so this really can help your mobility. The final skill we look at, it's an iconic one to finish up Cap with, and this is Indestructible Shield. So currently with this, you have a 50% chance to actually deflect damage and also deflect attacks prevent 100% of incoming damage. Now on top of that, you can actually change this skill through traits. So you can get the deflect chance away up to 90% or you can even choose to increase the duration of the skill as well. So it's pretty great and it's a good skill to have. It's one that Cap should have. He should be able to stand toe to toe with the enemy and deflect attacks with his shield because that's what he's really all about. So what we'll do, we'll fire off all these skills, you'll see the mobility from the athletic leap and also through indestructible shields you'll be able to see that our health isn't moving down at all really, which is pretty great. But let's fire these all off. There we go. Finished up with a signature, that was a good way to finish that. It was a pretty simple video in this Captain America one. 
For the next video, I believe I'm looking at Nova because I've had a request for that. So keep an eye out on that for the next few days. And really, that's what I say. Thanks for all your support for these beginner's guide videos. I'm glad you're enjoying them. I'll keep making them. And I'll see you all again soon.